Hi, my name is John Gibbons, and I run a company called the John Gibbons Body Master Method. And today we're going to look at taping for an ankle inversion sprain. Typically, if you're looking at uh, an ankle joint, the most common injury will be to the anterior tail or fibular ligament, which is it's not ideal the skeleton, but it's located within this sort of area in here. And then we have the calcaneal fibular ligament, and these two ligaments are the main ones that will be sprained. On the skeleton, I've pointed them out in here. And then on the, the human foot, if you like, I've placed a couple of stars of where they roughly would be located. So the anterior talar fibula here, and then the calcaneal fibula ligament in this area. So what we're going to do is use four bits of rock tape. So it's K-tape or kinesiology tape in. So we've got two relatively longer strips and two relatively shorter strips. The ideal position, I want to try to keep the foot into a dorsi everted position. Can you hold your foot in that position and just hold it there? Sometimes the peroneal tendons, we've got brevis which attaches to the fifth metatarsal and then longus comes under and attaches to the first met. These tendons are normally involved and then if you want to tape the tendon, you might have to use a longer piece of tape to cover the lateral side of the leg here, almost up to the fibula. It just depends on where you feel they're involved. First of all, we're going to use a eye strip and then I would split the tape from its end. I could peel it off if I want to. If I peel it off, it means I have to contact the end a little bit, which is okay as long as I don't touch too much of it because I'll take the layer of the acrylic off. Place that just above the medial malleolus and pull it. And then what we're going to do, we can vary how much stretch. If I locked it and pull it, that's 100%, 50, 75, so we can vary it. If we've got an unstable ankle, we can actually take it to around 75 to 100%, come around, and then this will cover mainly the ATFL. So I'm going to stick that down in this area just here. So I'm going to stick that and apply that. So that's covered the ATFL. Then I'm going to do the same for the calcaneal fibular ligament. So I'll split the tape again and apply that, just overlapping the first strip by about a centimeter and peel that around and again I'm going to lock it and then 75 to 100% bring that around so this one's going to cover more the calcaneal fibular ligament and then blend that in like so what you can do is rip the tape one side you get a bit of friction just for a few seconds you can just generate some heat and then that will then help stabilize the tape and make it stick better. And then the two smaller strips we can apply. So one will come around like here and then the other will come slightly inferior. We don't need the other two but it depends on how much stability you want to provide for the ankle. First of all you can rip this one. This one starts around the medial malleolus just above it and pull it. And again with this one, I feed it around, lock it, and I'm probably around 50 to 75 for this one. Come across, this will just cover a little bit of the ATFL, like that. And then we can do the second one slightly inferior. Pull it, and then I can just lock it and peel it back. Peel it back to the first square. 50 to 75, tension it, and then stick that down. So this will cover the CFL and continue into the ATFL. Rip the tape, just for a few seconds. Heat activate the tape. And then I suggest we could leave that on with a patient for three to five days. And then that is how you apply kinesiology tape in for the ankle inversion sprain.